What's up, world? How's everybody doing today, tonight, tomorrow? As I always say, whatever time, realm, dimension you're living in, I hope you're doing great, feeling blessed, no stress. But I gotta say, I think you're probably feeling like a wee bit of stress tonight. Pretty easy to kind of thank everybody stressing out tonight. If anybody's been living in a hole, you might have missed. We're on the verge of World War III. It's so drastic, I think, and so... Um, scary that I had to come to you from the car on the way home. Yeah, I had to skip sitting down, grabbing the mic, doing a mic check, doing a light check, doing all that check, and I had to come straight to you for the point. There comes a brand new flavor from your ear from a redneck just incredible right here. That was a some dumb shit, but see, war's about to happen, so y'all can't fault me on that. Trolls. Alright, so, y'all, this is right now serious, all jokes aside. I like to joke a little bit, even on the serious stuff sometimes, but we're very close to bad shit happening. And anybody with common sense can see that. I, myself, I was a Trump supporter, or I guess you could say I am a Trump supporter. I voted Trump. So, I can't really bitch too much, I guess, but I mean, look at the ladder. You had Hillary. What was I supposed to do? Vote the devil in? I wasn't going to do that, y'all. The problem is I feel like possibly we're being played from both sides. You know, they just gave one side what they wanted to hear. You had the left. You had this group out there that was all peachy keen, happy with Obama, happy with everything else. Y'all got to give me a second here. I'm making a right here and turn. I got to be safe because I live in a town full of idiots. Um, okay, let's go. Ah, oh, shit. All right, so watch out, crackheads riding through the ghetto. So, here's the deal. You had this whole group of people out there, the left, they're a little bit off the wall sometimes. They tend to fly off the deep end. But they had what they wanted. You had the right, which is usually considered a little more conservative, a little more common sense. They didn't have what they want. So, they're tend, they tend to be a little bit more dangerous. And this is nothing against you, anybody on the left. You guys, you guys can be a little lazy. You'd rather smoke a joint, sit on the couch, watch some South Park, when people on the right are like, put the marijuana down, let's go, and let's talk to our senators and talk to the governor, and we're going to get some shit done. Well, that's basically what you get. So, why not give them what they want, calm them down, get them out of the senators and governor's offices, and get them to chill out and just go with the flow of things, give them the God bless America back again, send the left off the deep end, get them all anarchy and all that bullshit they've been doing lately. Now, you guys have been taking that shit a bit far. Now, you need to learn what the definition of fascism is, and when you guys are beating people up for talking, guess what? You're fascist. So chill out with that all right we got to find a better way to communicate in this world we all need to just you know as i joke a lot of times some kumbaya why are you hitting your brakes um and you know i gotta get around the dipshit crackheads y'all going to get some pills huh fiend oh god that was a big old heifer um so so you got these two groups everything blah 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 let's fast forward let's get past all that shit let's get to the now all right We've let things get so chaotic that we are on the verge of World War III. Trump, dude, when you first got in office, I was straight up down with everything you were doing. The um, executive orders that you were signing, dude, they were awesome. They were amazing. And I was ecstatic. I thought, wow, you know, these are things I've never seen, especially by a president within the first couple of weeks. Usually, you got to wait six years to get anything worth a damn. And you came in, and you did all this, but now you're forgetting what got you to the game, or you're abandoning what got you to the game. The people you surrounded yourself with, you had good advisors, man. And I feel like you've gotten in there and you've let all them go, let everybody talk you into firing these people, brought in all these yes men, or so they say they're yes men, but in reality, they're actually getting you to do men. That's an out of context. And you're falling into their little ploy and you're listening to everything from bombing Syria, even though 
more likely, just like last time, it was the Syrian rebels that we funded and we supported, just like every other group out there from ISIS to the Taliban to you name it, any group out there, you look at what we do. We fund these groups, we send them into countries, then we follow them in and say, hey, we're going to clean things up. We're here to fix the problem. And all we do is chase them around for a little bit to another country. We take over whatever country that problem was in. We take whatever oil, fossil fuel, you name it, gas, uh, lithium, opium, where I live, fucking opium has taken over, especially since the war. And we go in and that's what we do. We, we claim it's in, we're here to save you. No, we're here to take your shit. Ha ha! You listen to returning veterans and see what they don't tell you. Or as you like to put it, lovely government, our number one terrorist to watch out for on terror watch list is returning veterans. That's some fucked up shit, y'all. They're treated bad enough. Now you're going to throw them on terror watch list? It's messed up. So, whew, I'm losing my damn rabbit hole of politics. Y'all think I'm bad on Mandela getting going on this shit? My girlfriend hates it. So, alright. Need to get back on track, y'all. <laughs> Driving and shit, just lollygagging and talking. Alright, so the deal with everything right now is from one thing, the Syrian thing, you know, we bombed them. Like I say, more than likely, it was the rebels who had the gas. The rebels who did it. People advised Trump not to do it, but you're not listening to the smart people. You're listening to these dumb bastards who started shit last time. And you're letting them talk you into things. Either that or we were all just completely duped. And you're really everything Hillary was. It's just wrapped up with a different package and bow. Probably gonna get, like I said, all my ads are probably gonna go off this video. I'm not gonna try it. Fuck it. Y'all gonna take them anyways. Sorry. I'm a little heated right now. So, the whole Syrian thing, you done pissed off Russia. China was a little hurt. You got all these people. It's like we're going around the country poking everybody in the chest just trying to start shit right now. So, fast forward past that. Right after that, you got ships going to Australia. What do you do? You turn around and say, hey, why not? Let's send them to North Korea. We got the gas? Yeah, we got the gas. We done took over Iraq and everywhere else. We got plenty of gas. Let's fucking take the ships there. So you send them. You turn them around there. Knowing that little bad haircut having midget up there in North Korea has got his finger ready. More than likely, he's already somewhere in a bunker. Not giving a damn. He'll shoot the shit off anyways. You guys are going to fire on me. He's going to hit every button he's got and hit something. Whether it's the U.S., a part of U.S., Hawaii, the West Coast. Watch yourselves on the West Coast, Alaska, Hawaii. You guys, I'm praying for y'all because that little crazy son of a bitch will do it. And we're over there egging his ass on, not worrying about the consequences. But now you got China turning around. They're marching troops up there. Shit is hitting the fan right now, y'all. Like I said, I feel like we're, we've been duped. I feel like we all signed up for something else with something else in mind. And I'm not, look, I'm not saying America shouldn't be strong. I'm proud to be an American. A Scott, Irish, Indian American. A bunch of crazy wrapped up in this, all this crazy. But going about it the wrong way we have turned into the biggest bully country around you ask any person not from America who's the biggest bully in the world they point at us now we're not the protectors we were now we're the instigators and I thought we might get away from that and I thought we might handle ourselves and handle our problems here at home because if you can't take care of yourselves you can't take care of anybody else but that's not our intentions anymore our intentions have turned to greed power, and whatever else comes with that basket of manure. Why well, I start not cussing, I don't know. So folks, be careful. Pay attention to the fake media. I mean, that's unfortunately. Try to find your underground media people. They're going to have the news up quicker than these fake ass media some bitches will. Keep watching them. 
you know, if one there's one ounce of thought that possibly uh, nukes could be launched towards us, you better be ready because martial law will be instated. And all you people that don't like Trump, and all you people that want freedom, all you people who want democracy, the ones that are supporting this, you better realize quick, we keep pushing the wrong people. We're going to lose our freedom too. And you don't think these power-hungry sons of bitches are going to use this to better themselves and put themselves in a better point of power because they don't worry about money anymore, y'all. It's not about money. Money is a fictitious thing created to make us do things they want. In reality, all they want is power. Power is the true money. They've created money in these systems that we work for every day, that I get dirty for every day that we have to feed ourselves with and bust our asses. They've created this to keep the power there. Don't you think there's not systems that they could develop to where we would have a different energy system, wouldn't depend on oil, gas, all these things? I'm starting to run out of light, y'all, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. All I'm saying is, guys, be wary of what's going on. Pay attention to the news. Everybody, I'm praying for everybody. If that's not what you do, if you don't pray, meditate, uh, sing a song, I don't know, do whatever you do, but think about your fellow man, woman, y'all, the, we the people, we need to start taking back what is ours, don't let them, you ever have that one friend, I'm, I'm wrap this up, but you ever have that one friend, talks all that trash, makes you get in the fight, that's kind of what it's like, yeah, they're talking all this trash and we're getting pulled into the fight. This world is ass backwards, y'all, and we're being played left and right by these groups. And I don't know what's going on with Trump, but damn, I've been seeing some weird stuff about him from 666 Fifth Ave and all up and down, you name it. I don't know where my mind sets with him right now. I'm really on the fence, and I, actually, I'm kind of leaning to the other side of the fence. I'm not saying I'm going to be down there protesting, but I feel like I've been duped once again. My heart, thoughts, and prayers definitely go out to you, the troops. You guys are definitely in the middle of this chaotic crap. And you really pay the price more than anybody. And I hope if it ever, ever came down to it, you guys would make the right decision and do what you think is right, not what they tell you is right. Follow your hearts. Trust your mind. And as I always say, y'all stay incredible. Y'all stay blessed. See ya.